So just real quickly, um, all this spasm, all this decreased breathing, that body acidity I talked about changes your body pH. So the things that also change that are processed food, coffee. So if we're mixing all that together, sometimes something as simple as, hey, drink more water and eat more green vegetables can drastically change their pH. Once the oxygen balance starts to switch, they can breathe a little easier. But, you know, literally when people have that full body, it aches everywhere, fibromyalgia type symptoms, chronic pain symptoms, you have to take a look at the nutritional component. You can't just think all the pain is in their muscles, you know. And then down the line, take a look at their stress. Sometimes when people are in really tough places in chronic pain, if you mention their stress or their mental at the beginning, they're going to really get offended because they think you're saying it's in their head. It's not in their head. It's in their physical body, but it's interrelated with their stress. But if you introduce that too early, they've already closed off. You know, those mental blocks are so deeply ingrained, they're not. So you have to get them kind of a, to a point of where they're pain-free a little bit for them to hear you, you know? Because it's, it's such a emotional turmoil just to be in pain. So if you can free them up a little bit, then they're open to the next, the next step.